So the method of join. So let's we move to the uh, calculations. So procedure, okay, of analysis. What is the method of join? First, you need to determine the trust is determinate or indeterminate by using just now the examples so that I show you how to calculate, okay, using the stability and determinacy equations. And then we following by calculate the support reactions, okay, by using that three equilibrium equations if needed. And then we draw the free body diagram of a joint having at least one known force and almost two unknown forces. Okay, and then number four, all loads are assumed move outward from the joint. Okay, so you need to make this assumption first, and then the x and y axis can be resolved into the x and y components. So two force equilibrium system we will use is fx equal to zero, fy equal to zero at each joint. Okay, so continue to analyze the member's force at the other at the other joint where again it is necessary to choose a joint that having at most two unknown and at least one known forces. Indicate whether the members in compression or in tension. And here means okay at one joint. So for example, at one joint, at one joint like this, okay, you have a force. Okay, you have three forces. Okay, at one joint. So let's say this is 5 kN, you already know. Okay, so the most is only two unknown. A and the, the, let's say this is A, B, C, and then this is the force. So you only allow two unknown. If you have another unknown here, D, okay, so then you don't choose D because here you have three unknown forces. When you have three unknown forces, you cannot calculate using this equation fx equal to zero and fy equal to zero. Because when we have only two equations, means that it's only able to solve up to two unknown. Okay? So you need to, based on your own judgment, to choose to choose which joint you want to start for to calculate. Okay? Normally we will start the calculation from the support where we already determined the support reactions. So we have the known forces and then we will start it from there. So indicate whether the member is compression or mention. So we also need to determine whether the force is in compression or tension. Compression, when you calculate, it will become positive and then the, and the tension will be positive and then the compression will be negative, the value. Okay, so this is example. Okay, calculate all member forces by using the method of joint. So this is a very simple triangular structure where you have support at VA. VC okay support the vertical force A and then this is HA here okay so there is a force 500 applied at the point B so first step what you have to do is determine whether it is determinate or either indeterminate okay so we can see that this is the structure and then how many member you have one member two member three member so member is three and how many join you have one join two join, three join, so it's three join. Then reaction you have three, HA, VA, HA, VA and VC. Okay, so the reaction is three. So M plus R is three plus three. Okay, two join is two times three. So six is equals to six and then the trust is determinate and stable. Okay, so this is the first step. So let's move to the next step. Okay, so second step, let's find the support reactions. Okay, so first we will look at the equilibrium equation for total Fx and then followed by total Fy equal to zero and total bending moment equal to zero. Okay, so we have three reactions which is HA, okay, HA, VA and also VC here. Okay, this is the V. So total fx equal to zero first. We look at it because you can see that the easiest one we find is total fx is equal to zero. So 500 kilonewton at point B towards this direction, which is positive. Okay. So minus ha equal to zero. So where ha we assume it to be towards this direction. So to be balanced, okay, 500 minus the ha equal to zero. So ha equal to 500 kilonewton towards this direction. Okay. 
So after that, we move to total Fy equal to 0. Total Fy equal to 0. So Va plus Vc equal to 0. Because in this structure, it's only you have two vertical force, which is from the Va and also Vc. Okay. Then we move to total bending moment equal to 0. So at here, we use the point of A. Total Ma equal to 0. So at here, you see you have two bending moment. Okay, from the force support are uh, applied at the point B, which is 500 kilonewtons. So from the point MA, okay, the 500 kilonewtons is toward the clockwise direction. So we assume clockwise direction to be positive. Okay, so 500 times the distance 2 meter is equal to 1000 minus VC. VC here, we uh, assume the force is towing, uh, toward upwards. So upwards here, you can see that from MA, the VC here will cause the counterclockwise bending moment. So it is negative. So minus VC times 2 equal to 0. So after you rearrange this, you move at VC to here. Okay. So VC is equal to 500 times 2 over 2, which you will get 500 kilonewtons. Okay. So VC is towards the positive directions and not towards the upward directions. Okay, so after you get HAVC, now you can solve the VA plus VC equal to zero. Okay, because at here we leave it there just now, total FY equal to zero because VA and VC two are known, then you cannot solve this. But now you already have the value of VC, so you can solve the value. Okay, so total VA plus VC equal to zero. So VA equal to, VA equal to minus VC. That's why VA is equal to minus 500 kilonewton. Where VA, VC is, so that's why VA, VC is towards this direction for VC. Okay, so VA is towards up downward. Okay, so it will be balanced. Okay, so VA is towing downward and VC is towards upwards. So this is the force that we finally found it before we calculate for the internal forces for each member of AB, BC, and AC. Okay, so let's move to it. Okay, so third step, let's we move to calculate the forces for all members. Okay, so joint methods, as we know, as we know so we need to start from each joint. We have joint A here, joint B here, and joint C here. Okay, so we will start with the joint with only two unknown. So you can see at point B, you have joint, you have unknown, you have one unknown here. Okay, second unknown here, third unknown here. And then joint B, you have one unknown here, two unknown here, three unknown here, which is not suitable. Okay, you have three unknown, but then for the equilibrium equation, you have total Fx equal to zero, total Fy equal to zero only. When two equations means only two unknown. So we can look at the point A. Point A, you have only one unknown, two unknown, and then you have two known value. So this joint is suitable to be used as the kickstart to calculate it. Okay. So let's we start with joint A. Okay. So you can see that this one joint A. Okay. I suggest you to draw this instead of the big picture like this. You draw out each joint so you can see clearly what you have to calculate and what is the known value, what is the unknown value. So you have 500 kilonewton which is known from the HA, okay, towards the uh, left direction and 500 kilonewtons toward downward, okay. And then you have two unknown which is from point A to point B, so we need it F, A, B. And then you have point A to point C, which is unknown, so we name it as F, A, C. Okay? So we will use the equilibrium equation, which is total Fx is equal to zero, and then positive direction towards here. Okay, F, A, C. Okay, F, A, C minus 500 equal to zero. So when you move this to this direction, so F, A, C equal to 500 kilo newton. Okay, from the joint, the force moving upward, so it will be in tensions. So we, ne we know that tension is the members that being pulled outwards. So from this, you can see that when the force being pulled at H, H A, okay, so there is the internal forces opposite of it to make it in the equilibrium, to make it stay in the static condition. So from point A, you will have a force moving to the 
C. So here also you will have a force from C moving towards A to keep it equilibrium. Okay, so when you draw it from the FA, it will go to the right. And then when you draw it from the F, okay, from CA, you can see that. So when you draw the internal forces, so here you will draw moving to the right here, you will draw moving to the left. Okay, so once you draw it, so you become like this, and then this is in the tension. Okay, and then for F total, FY equal to zero, so FAB, Okay, FAB is, so we assume to be positive going upward. So FAB minus 500 equal to 0. So when you move this, you will get FAB equal to 500 and then it is moving upward. Okay, moving upward. Moving upward means it is in tension again. So same theory as this. So when you draw, it will be moving upward from A. So from point B, it will be going upward also to make it balance. So this is also in tension. So this is 500 and also this is 500. Okay, so you already have two unknowns. So you only remaining one unknown for the plot FF uh, CB, wider BC. Okay, so we can now we either you want to use joint C or joint B, doesn't matter. Okay, because now you only remaining two unknowns for each joint, so you can calculate. So at joint C, okay, 500, you will have 500 moving to the A, okay, 500 moving upward, okay, and then you have a FCB. So FCB, okay, when you draw it, here is 45 degree. So at this force, you have two components, okay, so this is 500. So this is FCB, so this is a theta. So you will have FCB cos theta and FCB sin theta. Okay, so for this value, you will calculate. Okay, so total plus FY equal to zero. Okay, so you will use now FCB sin theta, which is sin 45 degree. Okay. So FCB sin 45 plus 500 because here this force is moving outward 500 is equal to 0. Okay, so FCB sin 45 is equal to negative 500 because you move this to here. So FCB is equal to negative 707 kilonewton. When the meanings here, when it is appear negative here, mean the, uh, means the force direction is opposite of what you assume. So the force is not moving here, but the force now is, okay, now is moving to this direction, FCB. Okay, so again, when the force is not moving outward from the joint, but it's going to the joint, so it is compression, okay, so it is compression. So when you draw it, it will become like this right here, compression. So FCB is 707. Okay, when you draw this, the direction of the force correct. So if you didn't put negative here, it's okay. Because we can refer to the directions of this arrow. So you can also use joint B to check. Okay, so now you can use joint B to check. Okay, so you can draw at point B. Okay, point B here you have 500, uh, two, uh, 500 sorry. And then you have another 500. But here now you see this force is moving this way. So means this is here. Okay, so when you draw you have two components. Okay, two components here. Two components here. Uh, you can join now you want to use total fx equal to zero or total fy equal to zero. So now you have a theta here. Okay, theta here. Or either theta here. Okay. You can use, sorry, this is cos 45 degree. Okay, so you have 45 and here is also theta 45 because this is balanced. Okay, so you want to use uh, cos or since is actually same for this. But for the other cases, you need to be alert which theta you want to use. Okay, you want to use, if you want to use this theta when you use calculate the fx source, 500 moving down uh, so, uh, so when you want to use the fx okay 
So 500 from the F from the FC, okay, from the FC, and here is the uh, here is 500, okay, from the point B. From 500 minus because here is towards this direction, 500 minus 707 sin 45. If you use sin 45, means we use this theta, okay, sin 45. 45 or either if you use this point then you need to use cos theta you need to be uh, double checking which data you are using and then which force you are calculate okay so this one uh, I will not repeat it here because you already learned how to calculate the cos sin theta before okay so 500 minus 707 sin 45 you will get zero okay if you use this data then you use sin okay if you use this data then you use cos okay so after you calculate, you will get zero balance, so it's equilibrium. So the answer is correct. If you get not zero, then it is incorrect. So you need to make sure it is uh, balanced when you calculate the value. Okay, so let's look at example number five. So determine the support reaction and member force using the method of joint again. Okay, all members are connected at both ends by smooth frictionless plane. So this is the assumption of it. So you can see that here we have a three non and three support reactions forces, which is the HA, VA, and VB. Okay, and then six kilonewtons applied at point C, which is horizontally applied, and then the uh, eight kilonewton applied vertically, going outward, downward from the point F. Okay, so what we have to do is. So let's calculate. So first step, we will either determine the thrust is determinate or not. So you can calculate here, this is the member, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So you have 9 members. Join, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 6 join, 3 reactions. So 9 plus 3 equal to 2 times 6. So 12 is equal to 12. This is statically determinate. And you can see that it is constrained at the vertical, at vertical and horizontal direction. So it is also geometrically stable. Okay, so calculate and then next we need to move to calculate the support reaction. Same as the example before, we'll start with determine whether the stress is determinate or not and then we'll calculate the reactions and then we will move to each joint to calculate the internal forces and then settle. Okay, so total Fx is equal to 0, 6, okay, to the right is minus HA to the left. So you get HA is equal to 6 kilonewtons towards the direction. And then total MA to equal to zero, okay? So you, if you assume it here, six times five, okay, is get the clockwise, okay? Clockwise directions. And then VA, when you assume it here in the example, is assumed downwards. Then you calculate here, when you assume downwards, it will going to be positive. Plus VB equal to VB times 13. And then you have an eight kilonewton here, which is also called the clockwise okay uh, bending moment so plus 4 is equal to 0 so when you calculate and then you will get VB equal to negative when you get the force you will get VB equal to negative 7.69 uh, 4.769 kilonewton okay so negative here you will indicate this is the wrong assumption we made the force is not when you want to positive it then you will become VA VB is actually going upward okay so this is the right correction vb is going upward and is equal to 4.8 kilonewton okay so by logic also you will see that this one okay three bending moment forces it will occur okay six kilonewtons to the clockwise direction eight kilonewton to the clockwise direction they cause the moment and then vb will become a balance of it because this is its equilibrium so you will have a bending moments towards the opposite directions okay to make it in the state in the equilibrium that's why vb you have a force going upward 4.8 kilonewton okay after you get this value okay so total fy equal to zero va is still unknown plus eight kilonewton going downward okay and then minus and then you have a force going upward okay so here positive value is going outward and then the vb is going downward sorry this one is going outward so this is minus Okay, so this is plus. Okay, VA minus 8 plus 4.769 equal to 0 kilonewton. Okay, so after you calculate it, you will get VA equal to 
two, three, one kilonewtons going outward. So you it become three point two kilonewton at here. Okay, moving upward to balance with the at kilonewton to stay in the equilibrium system. Okay, so after we calculate the forces at uh, the reaction support forces, okay, so you will start to calculate at each joint. So as I as explained in the example before, you will start with the joint that is easiest for you to start calculate. So we will start with the joint with only two unknown. We can start with joint A, okay? Joint A. Joint A, you have VA, okay, you have VA here, and then you have the VA here is equal to 3.2 kilonewtons and 6 kilonewtons to the uh, to the left. Okay, so you have a FAF here, FAC here. So FAC you will break it to two components, which is the FAC, FAC cos theta, cos theta. So the theta you need to determine, yeah which is uh, theta is equal to 51.34, which is theta is equal to 5 over 4, okay, from the dimension of the beam, uh, the truss, okay, 5 over 4, the truss of the, this is the, uh, from the horizontal member, and this is from the height of the truss, you will get 51.34 for this, so it's 51.34. So if it has another component, which is F, a C sin 51.34 theta for here. Okay, so for FAC you will break it to these two forces. Okay, for FAA is is in the state in the horizontally, so you will have only one component by itself. So you can see that in this equilibrium system you will have only one unknown for the horizontal uh, vertical forces. So total FY you assume to be zero. Okay. So this one, you also assume it to be moving upward first, okay? Because when we make the assumption, remember uh, in the explanation before, when you calculate it, you, move, you assume the force for the uh, unknown forces is moving upward from the joint. So 3.2 is from the VA, okay? This is from the VA plus FAC sin 51.34 is equal to zero. So FAC is equal to negative 4.1 kilonewton. When it is negative, okay, so it means that we assume the force going upwards is incorrect. So it is moving downward, so it is moving to the joint, means it is in compression. Okay, so when we later we draw it, this force is actually moving to the joint. Okay, so after you calculate it, you get the FAC value. So you also now you calculate total Fx is equal to zero. So FAF, this is the unknown, minus, okay, minus FAC cos 51.34, okay, here is moving to the same direction, if you want to use plus is also the same, but then when you put it here, you have a negative 4.1 cos 51.34, okay, minus 6, this is uh, moving to another direction. So if you put FAF plus cos FAC cos 51.34, so this value will be in the negative, negative 4.1 kilonewton cos 51.34 minus 6. So this one you total out, it will become, it will move to the right. Okay, so FAF is equal to, okay, so that we put it up, okay. So FAF, when you move this two to this, FAF is equal to 4.1 cos 51.34 plus 6. So you calculate, you will get FAF is equal to 8.56 kilonewton. Okay. So let me clean here so we have a... So after you done the calculations, okay, so you will get the correct answer is, okay, FAF is uh, positive, means it stays in the tension. Okay, so you have here is 8.56. Here you will have it is uh, towards here. Okay, here is 4.1. Okay, so and then we will move to joint F. So when you look at this example, I suggest you to draw the truss on a tape on a paper first for you to refer. Okay, when you calculate it. Okay, 
So I'm not able to show you here because I want to show you this slide, but you can refer back to the, uh, the, to the trust. Okay, so now you already get the forces of that one, so you can go move to the F. Okay, when you move to the F here, you can see that this F point, okay, you already determine for the forces from the F at F, which is uh, just now here, 5.8.56 kilonewton. And then from here is towards left, so from here is towards right. And to, from here is toward right and then from here is toward left okay 8.56 outward from the point and then here you have 8 kilonewton so also you will only have two unknown which is the f fc f fe okay so you solve the total f y equal to zero you will get f fc is 8 kilonewtons towards upward so it is in tension and then you will get fx equal to zero you will get f fe is positive 8.56 so it is also in tensile forces okay so after you calculate it completed then you will go to calculate again the point which is now we can move to point fc because the point ac you already get the value from just now the joint a okay we can we get the value here is 4.1 move inward to the joint Okay, from the calculation, and then 6 kN also move to inward to the joint. Okay, and then you have an unknown force here, FCD, FCE, and also this one you already calculated from the joint uh, F. So, 8 kN moving outward from the joint. Okay, two unknown, and then you have other forces, so this one can be done. So, this theta here, you can see that this is 5, okay, 5 meter. And then the height is 5. So you have 5 over 5. You want to determine the theta here. So tan theta is 45 degree because it's the same. And tan theta is 5 over 5. So theta, so shift uh, tan minus 1, 5 over 5, you will get theta is 45 degree. So moving this way, okay, this FCE, you have two components, means FCD, FCD, cos, theta, and then you have here FCD, FC, eh, sorry, FCE, 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 sin, theta. Okay, so total Fy equal to zero, you will have here these forces. Okay, so we assume positive moving outward. Okay, so 4.1 cos 38.66. So this theta 2, you uh, calculate it from here. So you will get 38.66. So for 4.1 cos 38.66 minus 8. X is moving downward. This is moving upward. FCE, okay. FCE, you have a moving downward, which is negative. Okay. So equal to 0. So when you solve this, you will get FCE equal to negative 6.79. When appear negative means the assumption of the direction of the force is uh, not same with what we assume okay so it is in compression okay so when you draw it later you need to draw moving like this okay so remember for the compression the internal forces it will become like this but for the tension it will become like this okay so for the total fx is equal to zero Okay, you will calculate, you get 6 plus FCD, okay, which is this one, FCD, okay, and then minus F, minus F, uh, FCE, F plus FCE, sorry, plus FCE, FCE, FCE cos 45, but here we already determine the negative, okay, so it is negative 6 point. 79 cos 45 plus 7 uh, 4.1 sin 38.66 because here is also you having a uh, you having a horizontal and vertical forces so you have a force here so fx is theta here is sin okay so because here you will get the sin theta okay 41 sin 38.66 okay so this is from the fcd uh, f f a f a b f c a so this is the f c a so this is the f c e 
okay, for the horizontal component. So when you solve this, you will get FCD is equal to negative 3.76 kilonewtons. Okay, means this is in compression and then the direction of the force in for the internal member is like this when you draw. Okay, so you need to remember this set for the internal forces, internal member, internal member. Okay, and then you will carry on with joint B. Okay, here I will not uh, explain one by one, but you can check it later. You can refer it yourself. So when you calculate this, you can see that you can plot it here. You repeat the same thing. You will have only, uh, you can solve it with FY equal to zero and then you will solve it okay you get fbd okay so you get fbd so you after you get fbd and then you solve you get fbe the forces okay so after that you move to join d and then you calculate the forces you will get the fde and then you solve it and then once you calculated you completed you can use the remaining joint to check if it is balanced that means your calculation is all correct Okay, then you will draw this. After you finish all the forces calculation at each joint, then you will draw back all the data you have. You have uh, the VA, V, the HA, VA, VB. And then you have the uh, lot applied on it. So VA just now you hash, what the VA you hash is 3.2 kilonewton. Okay, and then you have, then this is moving upward. Okay, and then VB in the early assumption is negative, but when we calculate, we get a positive. Okay, so VB is equal to 4.8 kilonewton. HA is equal to 6 kilonewton. Okay, and then you draw the force apply on it, and then you will have to draw all the member forces with the direction of the force. When you draw these directions, okay, this is for the tensile force, tension, and this is for the compression, okay, compression, this is in the tension, compression, tension. So you can see that when you have a loading applied on top, the compression will be on the top, the compression, and then at the bottom, you will have the tension, okay. So when you have a force applied on it on top, you will have the compression. So for the internal member, you will have the compression, okay, to uh, the, the force, the internal forces that moving, pushing towards outside to counter clock, uh, to counter, <coughs> to be balanced with the force on it, the compression. And the bottom, you when you have a load applied on it, it will have a force, okay, being tensile, pull, pulling outside. So the internal forces, you will have an opposite direction of it in the compression member. That's why you can see this is a tensile member force, okay, tension force, the member in tension, okay, to, to balance it, okay. So this one, you get the correct answer. So that's it for the joint method. So, okay, so now we also have the members in some of the structure, we have the zero force member. So let's we go through some example. Okay, so this is the case member, two members at joint C, you can two members at joint C are connected together and there are no external load on the joint. There's no joint, not, no joint on it. So the force is in each member must be zero in order to maintain in equilibrium. So where else is in the zero forces? Okay, you can check it. So you can see that this point C, okay, when you draw it, you can see that there is no extra forces. There is no force at here, at here. You only have one, one point at uh, the connection FBC, FCB and FCD. FC towards B, FC towards D. So for this, okay, for, so for case like this, this will be zero force and this will be zero force. So no force, okay. So when you calculate, okay, you will calculate the support ratios and so on, then you will bring this zero force to other support also you will calculate then you determine the value for the support reactions and also the internal forces so for this case too okay for this case too zero forces member are also occurred at joint that have a geometry as joint d so here is a joint d you can see it here so why later I explain if there are three members form a truss which two of the members are collinear 
okay the collinear means here fdc and fde you can see that this is collinear and the third member is a zero force member provided that it has no external forces or support reaction then that is applied okay but then at this direction okay so that's why we assume here is a collinear for the fdc and fde okay but then here you can see that from joint d there is nothing here nothing here so for fde f eh, sorry for fdf so for this force it will be zero Okay, so these are the example of the zero member. So when you look at a just before you calculate, you need to determine the case either if like this and then there is no forces here. So this one will be zero, this one will be zero. And then for this case, this one you have forces. But then for this one, for this one, you for these directions, okay, for this direction, you only have one force. Here, no force. When it has no force means it will be zero for these forces. Okay. So I have explained the two examples. So what you have to do now is you have to do your own exercise. Okay, you can do the practice for the previous two examples by yourself and then you can start to do this exercise. So this is the exercise you have to complete this way and submit uh, to me by next week. So determine the support reaction and members forces of G F E F G E H G H T and G D and H I. The method of joints is selected. Okay, so you need to practice on this, and then you here is the answer for V K V A H K and H A. You need to do this, and then I provided the answer here. You can counter check yourself. Okay, you can double check the answer here. Okay, and then submit to me in the Google Classroom by next week, and practice it. Okay, so thank you.